Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. continuation of our previous lecture, uh, this uh, session uh, we will talk about the action observation reflection model right? and uh, can leadership be taught. Uh, now, many people are having this particular uh, question uh, earlier also we have talked about whether the leaders are born or made. Actions observation reflection model we will discussing key role of perception in the spiral of experience, uh, the perception and the action uh, we will talking about, perception and the observation perception and reflection. So, this action observation reflection model we will be talking about uh, with the perception and action and observation and reflection context. Reflection and leadership development we will be talk about as usual we will having the uh, one case study as an example uh, then research paper and book recommendations. Uh, now, question arises can uh, leadership be taught? Uh, now, you see that is a traditionally whenever we are talking about this leadership it is always has been said that is the leadership that has to be uh, uh, about the uh, leaders are born, leaders are not made, but that was a trade theory. But that th trade theory is up to certain extent uh, uh, has been uh, again uh, uh, advanced and then uh, further research has been done. And then in that case it is strongly believed that uh, it can be a, a, a valuable foundation. Hmm? So, therefore, in, in, in case uh, when we are talking about the MBA students for example, that when they are joining. So, by a valuable foundation to becoming a better leader uh, over time. So, yes, they can be become the better uh, leader is there. Now, uh, as we, we were talking about that is the leadership can be learned, yes and that is why you are here. Right, that is to learn this particular course. Uh, so, you want to be the uh, awareness about the leadership and uh, leaders effectiveness and team building. Do you also believe that the most powerful lessons about leadership come from one's own experience? Yes, because it is a situational. So, therefore, in which situation you are there? So, what we provide uh, that is the from the experience we learn we learn the many ways that is the how complex a multifaceted your conceptual lenses are for the constructing experiences there. So, therefore, in that case it is always better that is the whenever we are talking about uh, that uh, leadership uh, that can be taught it is with the complex variables, complex variables are the followers and situations and that affect leadership gives you a greater variety of ways to make sense of the leadership situations you confront in your life. So, therefore, every individual right, whether it is in the personal role or into the professional role, he is having that particular context uh, in which he is developing uh, the his own experiences to build the leadership. In that way, completing this course in leadership may not make you a better leader directly and immediately right, but actively mastering. So, therefore, it is becoming very, very important that is uh, the experiences it will take time. So, therefore, it will not make the uh, instantaneous uh, leader to you. So, it will be the period of time, it is a gradually and therefore, leadership development as you see it goes by the actively mastering the concepts in the course then definitely the rate at which you learn from the your natural experiences. 70 percent of variance in a person's effectiveness in a leadership role is due to the result of her experience, only 30 percent is due to heredity. Now, this is very very interesting point is there that is the uh, whenever we talk about the past learning from the past right and that learning from the past that give that gives you the 30 percent only and rest of the 70 percent that comes uh, with, with the period of uh, time which you learn. So, in a given situation how you handle the situation and your belief, belief for that particular experience that becomes strong. So, you adopt that leadership style. In the past experience, uh, uh, if you have developed that particular uh, uh, perception that is by participation it becomes effective. So, that will be a milestone for you for your leadership. 
In the case of the action observation reflection model shows that leadership development is enhanced when the experience involves three different processes action observation and the reflection is there. So, therefore, in these three different processes um, that is about the action observation and reflection what is the action? Action means what we uh, what did you do? So, therefore, whatever actions you have taken in the past that will be decided. Observation means what happened that is the results and impact on others and therefore, in that case it, it is the you you we learn we learn from our observations and during these observations the behavior what results and impact to others that has been uh, been very much fruitful. In reflection how do you look at it now, how do you feel about it now. So, that is about actually your feedback. A reflection is the feedback what actions you have taken, what has happened that is your observations and then the reflection that is the now on basis of that what are the lessons of learning. On here on basis of this therefore, this AOR model action observation and reflection model it talks about uh, whatever we have done in the past right that experience that, that goes on continuously to improve our leadership style. Because the first hand experience uh, whatever has been taught in the classroom right that the, so you know the different ways. So, what is the uh, contribution of the classroom leadership teaching is that that is we tell you about the 10 types of the leadership styles and then you are uh, experimenting those at your workplace and maybe uh, the you may come out with the 11th style because you will make a hybrid model and that hybrid model will be unique for yourself and that that is why that action will be decided. So, uh, in, in, in the case of these observations that is the whatever the results you have obtained success or failures right that will be having the impact on others. This is very very important. Mm, I can share my experience when I was the labor officer in the Hukumchan mill we were negotiating with the union and all and that time it has been whatever the mm, outcome was there of that negotiation or the wage agreement and then I found that is the that was giving me the direction for the next wage agreement. Mm, so, this way it, it was the results where they were making the uh, impact on my leadership style. How do you look at it now uh, and the how do you feel about it now? So, there I find it is the as uh, I have uh, known for the further models uh, when I enter into the academics. So, now and I, I see now. So, I, I combine my experience uh, um, with my the current observations uh, and uh, then I teach in the classroom whenever I am interacting with you I am combining my the past experience also that is the ok this was the style this where the union and union handling was there in the hukum chan mill. But when I was in the shiram group then I found that is it, it, it is the more uh, the employee handling uh, rather than the union handling was there. So, therefore, that leadership with the employees uh, and leadership uh, with the unions they definitely both were the different and they, on that case my observations and my reflections that have carried out about the perception that the perception in that what, what perception I have developed that is the in case of the IR industrial relations and in case of this uh, the uh, HRD human resource development. So, naturally you, you have to be focused on the uh, different uh, uh, perceiver target and situation. So, with our perceptions which individuals organize and interpret their sensory impressions to give meaning to their environment natural. Uh, so, what is happened that perceiver target and situation. So, whatever the uh, I was the perceiver and the target was that was the employees or the unions from with whom I was uh, interacting and what was the situation? Situation was that is a team building. So, therefore, in that case it, it becomes very very important how I have perceived. If I perceived positively the situation naturally my interaction with others will be always positive. Whenever I will talk about the leadership I will say yes these things work, but if my experience is was the failure then definitely in that case I will not be able to perform in a better way. So, this perceiver and he, uh, the, then what factors the, that is affecting the perception in the case of the perceiver he, it will be the his attitude right his personality his thought process his actions that is becoming very very important. In case of the target who are the target as I, I was giving the example of the unions and uh, then the H employees. So, that has to be taken care of and the situation that under what situation I am working. 
So, on this basis of the perception whatever I have pursued my actions will be decided. A person's expectation about another may influence how he acts towards her and in reaction to his behavior she may act in a way that confirms his expectations. So, um, now what happens whatever action I will decide in ROI I will think that is the if this is the behavior this will be the return behavior. A perceptual variable that can affect our action is a self fulfilling prophecy which occurs when our expectations or predictions play a causal role in bringing about the event to be predicted. Now, this is a very very important word that is the causal role is there and here in this diagram we see that is a reinforce uh, and our beliefs are the influence our actions towards others are impact and others belief then that, that is about the cause is there. So, the, uh, in that case what happens a research supervisors are biased towards making dispositional attributions about a subordinate substandard performance and as a result of these attributions um, often recommended that punishment be used to remedy performance deficits. So, uh, now, now, uh, now this is the particular perception is there as a action and the reaction is there. Uh, but here I what I would like to say that is the there there one more word I would like to um, use and that is the corrective action. So, it should not be the always the punishment rather than we have to talk about that is the uh, it is required to be having the corrective actions is important. Um, from your past actions what I have learned that yes when we talk about the reinforcement of behavior in reinforcement of behavior it is taking about the positive reinforcement and negative reinforcement and therefore, in that case it is becoming very very important that is the uh, what approach do you have and here in the case of the perception and action it becomes uh, in spite of the punishment what I will advise that is let us go for the corrective actions are there. Whenever uh, we understand our target and target has done certain mistake. Uh, and invariably what the leader does invariably lead, leader makes an uh, application of that particular uh, correct uh, punishment which is to be um, according to me uh, that should be the last option that should not be the first option in the case of this uh, corrective action uh, will be the uh, first option and the punishment will be the last option for that. Now, here in perception action uh, um, pers person 1 has expectations of another person I heard she is nice and the person 2 is to behave ambiguously might be the seen as friendly while expectancy are confirmed she does seem personable and then initiate positive interaction towards another person because you are talking about that is uh, she is having that positive interactions is there. This initiates positive interaction towards the another person uh, because it is the flow and the expectations further strengthen that self concept change it is easy for me to meet others. So, therefore, right from that is the whether uh, the when you have heard about a person is nice right and then when you are making an interaction then definitely in that case it will be very very important that is the your end result end result will be positive. So, uh, here the observations and perceptions both deal with the attending to event uh, around us uh, all naturally uh, what is the perception we are perceiving perceiving through the situation and uh, th th that one of these uh, uh, perception is that is we are having the skin uh, vision. So, vision is becoming very very important touch smell uh, and then in that case it, it, it is the uh, see or that vision that observation and perceptions they, they are making us the more learnable. The fallacy of this passive view of perception is that it assumes we attend to all aspects of a situation equally that is a limitation of our senses and therefore, in that case when we are having the limited senses we, we do not see everything that happens in a particular leadership situation nor do we hear everything right. So, th this is the warning is there that is the uh, do not think that is your observations are complete or 100 percent they are not complete or 100 percent instead we are selective in what we attend to observation and what we in turn pursue. So, it, it, it is not the reality hmm? so perception perception is not complete. So, a phenomenon takes place when one expects to find mostly negative things about another person such as problem employee such an expectation becomes a perceptual set to look for this particular perception and the then deciding about your reflection. So, these perceptual sets influence what we attend to and what we observe and uh, uh, if we are selective some persons are very selective in, in their perception why because their observations are very limited. 
although it is true that we cannot have the 100 percent observation, but this is also true that we can have the maximum observations if we are more sensitive. In addition, uh, like, like a very beautiful picture is given here that is the how you can image. Similarly, a, a cat can image uh, as a lion, right. So, in that, that is about the perception that is uh, how do you um, perceive yourself. Also influence the next stage of the spiral of experience uh, reflection because of reflection is how we interpret our observations. So, uh, practical example is when you are occupying a position, a higher position you occupy, then your image about yourself that, that changes. Perception is inherently an interpretive or a meaning making activity is there. So, normally um, this is about the reflection uh, that uh, whatever we perceive, we create an image and accordingly uh, whatever image is there, we interpret it and therefore, making this particular activity. It is the one important aspect of this process is called the attribution. We develop often a behaviors or actions we attend to and therefore, in that case uh, these actions, the actions are based on our attributions are there. So, uh, if we are creating an image of ourselves, uh, which is a larger image, a very powerful image, uh, then in that case definitely our action and reflection will be that is we are strong. And then in the case when we are talking about that is a perception about ourselves is the smaller one where we are not confident, then in that case naturally our actions will be affected accordingly. So, how do you perceive yourself? To be an effective leader, it is necessary that is you perceive yourself in a strong way. So, how this attribution depends on? Attribution depends on the tendency to overestimate the dispositional causes of behavior. What, what it means? It means that there is a what are the different causes are there? Simple example is the superior subordinate relationship. It is having uh, the sub relationship with the subordinate, it is having the major cause, but what happens? The boss he making the dispositional causes of behavior. That is no, I am not going to bother about him and underestimate the environmental causes when others fail, and therefore, in, in the result, what happens? That is, you are not taking care of your subordinates. Self serving bias is there. Whatever the external attributions are there, make the internal attributions are there. So, therefore, in that case, it is a locus of control, external locus of control, and internal locus of control is there. The actor and observer differences are this refers to the fact that people who are observing an action are much more likely to be having the behavior in the similar manner. The most important, it most neglected component of the action observation reflection model is that is the reflection is there. But outcome. So, there will be the input, there will be the process, there will be the output, but the most important point is this that is the people are uh, in observation and reflection model, uh, they, they are underestimating the reflection is there, but it is very important because it can provide leaders with a variety of insights. Whatever the experience you are having and if you are ignoring uh, are uh, becoming the bias about that particular certain factors or causes, then definitely in that case uh, you will not be able to improve your leadership dear friends. So, variety of insights to be um, accepted, look at situations from the multiple perspectives right and not only by the or better understand the subordinates as I was giving the same example. Leadership development can be enhanced by raising such implicit beliefs to conscious awareness and thereby more to thoughtful reflection is there. So, acceptance you know, this is very very important as acceptance is required. Example is given use a variety of art prints to stimulate personal and group reflection on ideal forms of the leadership. The prints were used to identify five fundamental archetypes of the leadership are there and therefore, in that case it is not the limited one. It, it should be sensible one and very contributing one is there. Now, here the first example is taken teacher and mentor. So, teacher who cares about developing others and works beside them as a role model that is a mentorship is there. So, can a teacher be a mentor? Yes, he can be the mentor, but um, because the teacher is developing the others definitely, but wh what is becoming those who are the followers they want to be like him and that is the achievement is there. Father and judge. So, who provides oversight, control, moral guidance and caring uh, protectiveness is there. In the both the roles, the person is having the same objective. So, therefore, the reflection is becoming the same. 
warrior and knight who takes risk and action uh, in a crisis and therefore in that case crisis management crisis manager and who is the best crisis manager who is having that particular warrior attitude is there revolutionary crusader is there who challenges the status quo and guides the adaptation and therefore in that case it becomes very very important that is the uh, the leader so they learn and they're getting the guidance from that particular force of these adaptations is there if they, it is done then definitely in that case the leader will be successful visionary alchemist who imagines possibilities that can benefit all members and brings them into the reality is there and therefore in that case it is always uh, we have to imaginary right that is if you are imaginary you will be able to get the better and bet better output so this is about the um, that is the ex uh, action observation and reflection model is there and through which this learning from the action observation uh, and reflection uh, model uh, we are enhancing our uh, leadership styles by the adopting the experiments as the founder of management coaching organization TMBC and author of the uh, standout uh, Marcus Bunkingham is an expert on creating leadership programs. He recommends the following steps that is the first and foremost is the find or develop the assessment tools. Now you see that is the uh, personality component as I was mentioning that is with the subordinates. You have to understand his personality. When we are talking about the uh, big five inventory test that is the about the uh, extrovert, introvert, sensing, thinking, feeling, perceiving, MBTI. So, therefore, in that case that, that test can be included and therefore, we can find out the characteristic leadership styles. The top leaders in the organization and administer the test to them and therefore, in that case uh, because in the, within one organization you see there is a particular culture and that culture can be adopted by the adopting that leadership styles. So, this step is not to determine what all the leaders have in common, but to group the top leaders into categorized by their similar profiles. So, they are at the high profile pro people. So, therefore, how they have become the high profile people, how they have reached to this particular position that is becoming very, very important. In the step 3, interview the leaders within each profile category to learn about the techniques they use that work. Now, when you are interacting with them, those uh, your organization's top leaders, then you, you have to interview them, right? And the, the, that uh, what their work style that has been uh, been successful for this organization. Often, these technologies will be unique, unscripted because nobody knows it is, it is a knowledge management hmm? that is a uh, uh, storing the tacit knowledge and revealing the correlated to the strength in each leader's assessment profile. So, whenever we are compiling the techniques within each profile category, so there, therefore, there are the different categories and you find the different leaders are there. The results of the top leader profile categories which we have combined from the above steps and the leaders techniques can be used to create an algorithm or tailored method for the developing the leaders are there. This is a, a very beautiful way to develop the uh, acceptable leadership style in the organization. Administer the assessment test to developing the leaders and determine their profile categories. The techniques from successful leaders can now be shared with the leaders who are most like them because they share the same profile is there. So, now what, what is happened that is they all are having the same profile, but their leadership styles are different and therefore, the, 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 the leaders those to whom you are interviewed they will give a direction. These steps provide a means for successful leaders to pass along to developing leaders the techniques that are likely to feel authentic to the developing leaders and that encourage creativity. So, those who are the developing leaders are there no. So, some leaders are already established in the organization, some are into the developing stage uh, those who are young and uh, uh, they are at the uh, uh, leadership positions. So, therefore, they can develop this type of the uh, de uh, leadership style and authenticate leadership style. The techniques can be delivered in an ongoing process uh, as a short personalized interactive and readily applicable tips and advice that yield results. And therefore, in that case uh, whatever the interaction is there that interaction will be applicable to uh, um, the uh, budding leaders. Uh, here you can have this assignment what are the some potential negatives of using Marcus Buckingham's approach to leadership development is there potential negatives because you, you see every, every, every leadership style is not a perfect one. 
there are certain positives, there are certain negatives. So, what negative do you find? Would you suggest applying uh, Bunkingham steps to your organization? Why or why not? And therefore, in that case, on the basis of uh, that is your observation, actions, observations, and reflection model, AOR model, uh, what do you think? Whether it will be on the basis of the experience uh, which you have in, a, in your organization and interviewing with the people that has to be accepted or not to be accepted. The research papers uh, in this context has been selected is leadership development learning uh, accelerators voices from the trenches and therefore, in that case you will find that is whenever the purpose of this paper was that is the uh, how to develop uh, uh, that uh, leadership uh, by the learning accelerators are there and that is the yes we, we can learn we can learn from the voices from the trenches and as a result of which uh, uh, that uh, leadership developing learning uh, that can that, that can be uh, adopted um, by the different methods are there. Here also we have to find out that is uh, key indexing the development uh, accelerators. Who are the accelerators? Here just I want to say that this paper will be helping you to identify the accelerators at your workplace. But when, whenever you are at the your workplace, then definitely in that case uh, you will be able to uh, find out uh, the practically what uh, accelerators uh, which are motivating you at uh, in your organization. Because unless and until you are not able to identify the accelerators, what are who are the accelerators? Accelerators are the those actions or people or those uh, uh, reflections uh, which have been uh, encourage, uh, encourage and motivated the leadership style. If the leadership style has been encouraged and motivated first, then definitely in that case uh, on the basis of this paper, it will be very much important that is the uh, how to identify the accelerators and uh, making the implications of these accelerators at the workplace. Now, here the purpose of this paper is to highlight the practices that high performance leaders of your organization whoever are the high performance leaders are there your organizations that believed were influential for accelerating their development as a leaders. So, the, therefore, role models no? uh, we, we cannot go away from our role models. The role models uh, those who, who have accelerated their career uh, and you can easily find out in some organizations that is uh, some people they have become the highly influential and uh, highly progressive. In this study, the sample consisted of US based mid level leaders of the fortune 1000 companies who were identified their organizations as being high performers possessing the strong ability to deliver desired results for their enterprises. So, here what is the parameter? Parameter is the delivery of results. If results are delivered, then there is no problem. The authors recently conducted focus group is a subset of over 200 of these high performing leaders and therefore, in that case uh, that whoever been the accelerators are there, they, they, uh, they have been interviewed and they have been identified. So, seven leadership accelerators were identified on the basis of this interview which have been conducted by the author and then it has been uh, and the same will be there uh, at your workplace also. The first is the working for a great leader. Right. So, therefore, leaders are also working for a leader. So, it, it is very important that is these accelerators though who are the leadership accelerators are there. So, they, they what they do they were they are working for a great leader. Experiencing an extremely challenging assignment or the major organizational change are there and therefore, in that case uh, uh, they, they are not working for the easy work they are taking the challenging assignments. Working in an organization that requires and supports skill development. Here I would like to take the example of citizenship behavior and then the processing a strong mentor accountability or partner is there. So, you are working under with somebody or with somebody uh, those who are the strong partners. Ongoing a pers uh, personal reflection and self assessment experiencing a significant failure or the career setback is there. So, therefore, in that case that reflection model your personal reflection by playing a very very important role. And finally, a formal leadership development training or continuing education is there like you are taking these courses and try to develop the uh, your leadership styles. So, therefore, in that case it, it, it is always better that is you are having the continuous education learning from others and the, the limitations of this type of study is um, it is important that leaders, HR professionals and training managers know and understand these factors and to make it an ongoing priority to systematically address the key questions that emerge from these findings are there. So, unless and until uh, your structure uh, of uh, that research uh, is not well designed 
Hmm? And so, therefore, if you are doing the research in your organization, then me make sure that is these are uh, should uh, thoughtfully answer the questions presented for themselves and encourage leaders in their organization to do the same. So, therefore, it is not just a, a formality that is uh, somebody is asking the question and you are give, uh, giving the answer rather than it should be thoughtful exercise. So, that commitment of the leaders is very, very important from both the sides, the pers person who is asking the question and person who is answering the question because unless and until there is no thoughtful or sincere approach, uh, this style will not be becoming the successful. So, to be make this successful, uh, these accelerators are to be strictly followed. Here we are having certain uh, recommendations for the book, the little book of the leadership development, uh, the 50 ways to bring out the leader in every employee and therefore, in that case uh, on the basis of that is the how our action uh, uh, and observations and reflections uh, then that can be contribute uh, for the leadership development because the ultimately objective is what? Ultimately, objective is to develop the leaders from among the, all the employees. Once we are developing these leaders from the amongst our employees, then then it is not that the leader is one and followers are many. Rather than there are many leaders and very few are followers. So, but leaders means what? It is not that they are directing into the different directions. Leaders are those who are contributing towards the organizational goals and achievements. Once they are having that organizational goals and achievement commonly by all the leaders working in the organization, the, nobody can stop that organization to grow. Uh, Kushi redefined uh, abstract is there traditional leadership by assigning flexible yet concrete and proven actions are there. So, therefore, in that case uh, 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 this uh, concrete word has to be taken care of. Ultimately, it is it should not be the vague, it should be very very specific, but specific to the your organization. Now, free of complicated theories, the little book of the leadership development focuses on what really works to motivate others, encourage productivity and equip future leaders to design a straightforward system. So, therefore, it is not a, that is a, it is coming through the different uh, complicated theories rather than it is the system tailored method is there of your own. The book delivers streamlined instru uh, instructions on 50 practical strategies including modeling behaviors, sharing information, building accountability, stretching teams and providing feedback is there. And on basis of this they definitely in that case you will find that is a different strategies have been mentioned. So, these are the contents of this book uh, where you will find there uh, different chapters have been mentioned and then if you say every chapter uh, you will find that uh, uh, yes uh, it has been given that is the uh, what uh, the after action reviews are there and uh, whatever the action development of the through conceptual understanding is there, uh, development through the personal growth is there and, and the development through the feedback is there. So, therefore, whenever we are talking about the developing of the modeling of the effective leadership, then the development through the skill building is very, very important. Once we are having that skill building uh, attitude amongst the our employees, uh, but um, here the methodology that has to be properly understood that methodology as far as in, uh, in, in AOR model we have talked about that is uh, it is, has to be the actions, observations and reflections and on basis of the actions, observation, reflections whatever the methodology is there that methodology that has to be taken uh, uh, properly is to be uh, considered. Once you consider that you are uh, these uh, methodology um, is uh, properly uh, adopted then you can find out the causal behavior in a given organization. When you know the causal behavior in an organization, uh, then as a reflection uh, you can uh, identify uh, what are the different accelerators are there and on basis of those accelerators who have contributed for the development of the leadership uh, that you once you identify you will be successful. These are the certain uh, references are there uh, about this particular uh, um, uh, the un leadership development practices, leadership enhancing the lessons of experience, McGray Hill, uh, John C. interpreting interpersonal behavior and uh, then the McCall's uh, recasting leadership development, industrial and organizational psychology is there. These are the certain uh, uh, references from the Michel, so, supervisor responses to subordinate poor performance that is the how a test of an attributional model very very interesting and then the Robbins book is there which is the always have been preferred for the textbooks also. So, this is uh, all about the AOR model and developing the leadership attributes uh, uh, by understanding the causal effect in the organization. Thank you.